In addition to being the vision keeper for your team, you also are the goal setter. You also are the one that creates the road that your team is going to be on. Without goals, without objectives, your team is on a road but has no direction. Your team is moving but isn't sure whether they're facing the right way. Your team is being functional but not sure if they're really actually meeting any end that is desirable. And as the leader, it is your job, it is your role, it is your responsibility to make sure those goals are set. Now, goals are great, but every goal has to have a clear objective. What is actually going to happen? And the best way to ensure that you have effective objectives is to follow the SMART rule. Every objectives must be S for specific. What exactly needs to happen? Do you need to reduce the budget by 20%? Just reducing the budget is not specific. Reducing it by 20% is. They need to be measurable. M for measurable. How will you determine whether these objectives have been met? By a report. Will there be video? Will there be evaluations you can look at? How are you going to be able to measure that? They need to be A, achievable. They need to be actually possible. Asking somebody to successfully perform brain surgery who's never been trained in it, that's not necessarily achievable. But asking somebody whose role it is to mine data, to come up with reports that deliver the right information, that is achievable. They must be R, relevant. They must be relevant to what is going on with that person's role with that project. Asking somebody to pick up your dry cleaning is not relevant if they're your accountant. It's not really relevant if they're your anything, but it's really not relevant if they're your accountant. And T, they must be timely or time bound. They must have a beginning and an end time in which they will be measured. By having objectives like that, by having goals that are clear, you can keep your team focused and heading in the right direction. By doing that, it supports the vision almost by default. Objectives must be smart. They must be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Without all of those functions, what you have are subjective goals. Can they really be measured? Is your employee measuring it one way and you're measuring it a different way? That means you're not even having the same conversation. So keeping in mind that when you have all of those goals and objectives, your team is on the road to success. Some of those goals, as I've talked about before, should be stretch goals things that they have to learn how to do different things, not necessarily what their job or their role requires as delivering a certain amount of reports at a certain time every month, but you'll want to set some what are called stretch goals, things where they have to learn a new skill and then show that they've been able to apply those skills. An effective leader, by setting goals and objectives for their team, and we'll discuss it in even more length when we talk about performance appraisals, by doing this, you help your team achieve the success that it is reaching for. And when your team succeeds, you succeed. Finally, the effective leader as the manager of the goals and objectives will be able then to provide accurate status updates on all of the projects. By having those goals, by having those smart objectives, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, you as the a leader will be able to deliver back to your team internally and to your own leadership where you are specifically on every project. There isn't a leader in this world that doesn't like specific, accurate information about their projects or about their data or about their budgets. By having those smart goals, by having those smart objectives, you as an effective leader will be able to report back accurately and feel good about where your team is or know where you need to coach your teams. Creating goals couldn't be more important. Supporting those goals and objectives couldn't be more important. You as a leader, it's your role to do that. And by following all the instructions that we're talking about throughout all of these courses, they're just going to make you a more effective leader and able to maintain all of those goals and all of those objectives for your team.